Yo, what up boys? Today, we're playing some solo official vanilla rust and I look forward to this wipe. It's gonna be a good one. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you've been enjoying the videos recently. We're gonna get into it though. Do the, the blaze special, the blazer special. We're gonna get some cards, hit oil. The server kind of feels bumping a little bit. As soon as I loaded in, like cargo was out, both oils were down, raids, PVP, okay? The whole nine yards, it's going down. I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to get right into it. It's morning time in Rust, which is uh, beautiful. And I just woke up and it's 10 p.m. So, you know, going good. Anyways, we're going to get into it. Should be a good time. Start off by getting some cards, getting a basic uh, snowball going. Actually, on this server, there's these guys. So my mouse is broken. Doesn't zoom in. There's these guys selling an AK for four diesel fuel, which is like kind of absurdly cheap this is vanilla four diesel fuel for an ak is like an insane deal uh on our quest of getting cards i'm gonna try and collect four diesel fuel and buy myself an ak literally off the bat as soon as we get to outpost so that's our uh, short-term mission and you know eventually we'll get to oil and do all that fun stuff so i hope you guys enjoy we're gonna get into it let's get started i know junkyard has diesel but uh you know what? I could not tell you where it even, like, spawns. I, I don't know. I have no idea. So we're just going to have to kind of... Oh, here's one. That's one-fourth of the way to an AK already. Pretty solid. Yeah, I don't know where it spawns, but Junkyard actually has a lot of diesel. Junkyard's an underrated monument. It has cards, two diesel. We're halfway to an AK, and we are uh, two minutes in. Speed run AK world record right here in the making potentially how would you speed run rust like what what do you guys consider the end game of rust you know what i mean is it like end game ak or i don't know i don't wonder that we did a rust speed run an unofficial one recently and it was actually really fun it was a good time oh dude hazmat too we got hatchet and hazmat from junkyard dude this is actually like a goaded beginning already I mean, I don't want to jinx it, like, knock on wood or whatever, you feel me? But this is, uh, things are looking up here. And a water pipe, brother. It's meant to be. It is literally meant to be, I'm telling you. Let's, uh, let's get this all recycled and head over to Outpost. We do need a fuse, though. Wow. We're already off to an awesome start here. I don't want to jinx it, but this is, uh, looking and feeling good. All right, let's get out of here. 163 scrap from Junkyard instantly. Plus the hazmat and the water pipe and all that. And the diesel. Can't forget about the diesel. That's awesome. All right, let's head, uh, let's head towards Outpost. Minigun somewhere. Oh, we could go to Dome for diesel, but it's kind of out of the way. I say we just run through water treatment and get... Because I know where there's two diesel spawns in water treatment. That'll be more in tune with where we're going. There we go. We got our fuse. Beautiful. Wow. This is looking like a really uh, graceful PVE start. You love to see it. Really. Really love to see it. All right. There's a diesel up there. So we are uh, closing in on the AK. I've said it a thousand times. I'm going to say it one more time. You know, it's been a small start. Like nothing insane has happened necessarily, but everything's just lining up so perfectly. It's, it's hard to explain, but you, you know when you know, you know, like Rust players know that feeling where it's just like, it's just, every, it's like, it's a graceful day. I wonder what that means for the rest of today. Hopefully, uh, hopefully only good things. What? This guy died? <laughs> this guy failed the parkour and died. What? Um, okay. He has a diesel fuel. I think I'm just gonna loot this guy and bounce because he's probably gonna try and come back for his body. And I already have four diesel fuel, which is literally enough for an AK. Let me see if I get one more just in case. In case, like, the AK is broken or something. But he has, like, a DB and stuff. I don't know. I mean, I doubt I'll need it, but... <laughs> Bruh! What the hell? Dude, today is... There's something off. It's too good to be true. It's way too good to be true today. We got another diesel. Another two diesel, I guess. 
Jeez, dude. I'm the diesel dude today. Let's get out of here. Too good to be true. Way too good to be true. It would have been better if he had like a, a SAR or something, but still too good to be true. I am very suspicious. Oh shoot, I see a full metal guy right over there. We don't want to uh, get seen by him. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he was like just on the edge of my screen. I don't know if that was even him, but I'm just going to try and gun it into outpost because I literally have everything I need for like a god tier start right now. All right, we're in outpost. Beautiful. All right, we're all recycled up. I got 437 scrap. Let's check out this shop. I don't even know if it's accessible by drone. I'm hoping it is. Otherwise, we're in trouble. AK. Oh, dude, that is a busted AK, man. Uh, well, I'm glad I picked up the extra diesel then. I will purchase the AK. And I will purchase a SAR as well. We got two weapons. Not bad. Busted AK, though. Very, very broken. All right, I guess that leaves us pretty good. Two 5.56 five, weapons. Let's get a blue card here. Biggest problem being that I can't craft any ammo while I'm obviously here because there's only a tier one workbench and outpost. So we're just gonna have to head off to oil and hope that it works out. Oh, wonderful. Amazon Prime. Got the red card. I don't really, uh, I'll take what I can, I guess. All right, let's get out of here. Got some SAR ammo, too. It's only 24, but I'll take it. There's probably a massive base right here. They have 60 rockets in their vending machine. I don't want to go take, like, a little look at it from a distance, from far away. Definitely uh, not from close up, that's for sure. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I don't know about that. There's just a huge bridge leading into the water. I think I'll pass on that for now. But my curiosity's kind of peaked. I just want to see how big the base is. I can't help myself. What? That's it? And that has 60 rockets inside of it? Very interesting. Uh, oh, there's a mini on top of that base, but I don't. I shouldn't stick around here. That's very interesting. And uh, I will keep that in mind. But for the time being, we're on a mission. All right, looks like we got our boat. Is that a water raid base? That's actually sick, dude. An ocean raid base. That's cool. I've never seen that before in this game. That's really cool, actually. I got to do that one of these days. I'm hoping we get countered on this one. Guess we'll see. Dude, this oil is blessing us up with plenty of ammo and meds. You love to see it. God, dude, every time I think the smoke grenade is an airdrop, man, I get so hyped. Game, uh, game wants us doing well, but not that well. I think it's time we call these in. Problem is, is it's turning night and I don't have a flashlight, which makes things a little bit harder, but not impossible. I think we'll be okay. Let's see what we get from this elite crate, though. Uh, PTZ CCTV camera. I don't, what does that even mean? Come on. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? Bolt is not bad. Yeah. All right, let's call it in and uh, let's get going. All right, I think we're all, that was pretty quick. We're all set. Now drop me a flashlight. Armored door. Flashlight. Come on. AK. AK for the boys. Okay. Oh, well, we got a single armored door, which we'll take. I suppose. Now, hopefully we get countered. I guess we'll see. Oh, the crate, the crate. Bro, what is that? Bro, that was whack. What? I'm going to large. I'm going to large oil right now. Nah, dude. What? That's the worst crate I've ever seen. Oh no. Okay, the next one 
will be better surely. I'm going straight to large oil. No depot. No bank. The fuck? What? Dude, I was AFK on my phone. Where did that guy come from? What? Dude, I'm literally AFK on... I don't know. I hope it picked it up. Me just throwing down my phone? It's just a full metal guy. What the fuck? No, I'm on my phone, bro. No way, dude. What? Dude, I really hope the recording picked up me like throwing down my phone when I heard two boats. That's insane. <laughs> Yo, no, this poor guy. Bruh, no way. What? Dude, he would have smoked me. What was he doing? See if he left anything in his boat. 12 low grade. So he lives pretty close, I think. Let's just hit up large as quickly as we can. That's hilarious. All right. Let's, uh, let's get on this thing quickly. All right. I think it's time for us to board. I'm gonna leave this bottom scientist alive. Alrighty, we're in our zone. I don't actually need this loot anymore now that I killed that guy on the boat. So I'm not sure why I'm here, but it's fine. We'll hit that cheeky jump to vent. Be good to go. This wipe is full of diesel, like full of diesel. So I'm thinking maybe that means we need to take over quarry or build by excavator. One of the two. And uh, I'd love to see if I could take over high qual quarry because I've heard that that's the best quarry by far, even better than sulfur quarry. If it's open, I'm keen to take it. If not, I'd be happy to check out sulfur quarry wherever it is. Where is it? I don't even, am I blind? Oh, I see it. It's right here. Oh, sulfur quarry is in a cherry spot too. They're all good. All the quarries look look really good. With high qual being the best right next to the supermarket, but it's got to be taken. There's no way it's not. Oh, and the door's glitched open. Anything from elite crates? Components? Whole lot of nothing. Okay. I've been like aim training on oils for the past like hour. And I've got to say my aim is feeling on point. I'm kind of stoked though at the thought of taking over a quarry. I really want to take over a quarry again. I had a really good, a good time last time I did it. I'm just worried that they're already taken. But if they are already taken, we'll, we'll control excavator or something, I think. Wall it off as like a solo. That'd be kind of crazy. That's like the last ditch effort. That is the worst case scenario. Hoping for a fresh AK from, uh, oh, well, mm, perfect. There's so much loot, I, I can't even, like, grab it. It's kind of nuts. It's a good, uh, good solo run. This is a great solo run so far. Are you kidding me? This is wonderful. Very enjoyable. Very, uh, uh, frictionless. Yeah, I learned that word yesterday. Frictionless. I do have to figure out a way to store all this loot, though. That, that is indeed a problem. All right, what do we get from the crate? Not bad. Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, this is actually pretty good. I'll take it. I can't complain. I'll just throw that on the floor. Okay. So I'm gonna try and stack up the boat with as much loot as I can, and then come back up and try and pick up more. So I, I feel, I feel very, uh, this is very offensive to leave all this loot here. There's too much loot that's left, or that's gonna get left. Great, I was able to clear up one free inventory slot. Uh, jeez. Okay. Let's just go up and see what uh, other three items we could take, and we'll head out of here. Three more HEs, and a custom. Alright, let's get out of here. It's the best we could do. You know what, I could drop some of these meds for comps, which I will do. Reluctantly... I will do it. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna need that barricade BP though. I already know I am. 
Let's uh, start by checking on the Sulphur Quarry since it's right here. And then we'll check out a uh, high qual quarry. But if Sulphur Quarry is not taken, I might just take it off rip anyways. So I, I personally like Sulphur Quarry a lot more than uh, than high qual quarry. I like the idea of having infinite Sulphur rather than infinite high qual. Even though high qual is good, I just, I don't really need high qual. I'm really hoping Sulphur Quarry is not taken. This is just perfect. Right on the coast, Oxum's is pretty nearby. Excavator is pretty close. It's kind of nice. Ah, I see walls, but they kind of look like they're decaying. Even then, I could still build close to here and use it. But let, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. It, lo it looks salvageable, for sure. I'd have to break, like, two tool cupboards, and I could just take it for myself. I hope they're decaying, though. They are not decaying. So I, I would need to use 4C4 to take this over. Alternatively, I've got to say, I don't really need these two TCs. Like, I could build over here, I'm pretty sure. I could build right here, and I could build on the other side, too, over here. I think our only issue is going to be where to put a base, because they kind of walled this in very tightly. I mean, we could do it. I think we will. I think I'm going to try and uh, take over this sulfur quarry. That's what, that's what we'll do. You know what, there's some credence in going and looking at, at high qual quarry too. So, you know what, let's just go there and let's just scope it out really fast. I'll uh, I'll make some stashes over here. That way uh, we're not risking all of our loot to go look at a quarry. What is this? This looks like it got raided. Um, could I take this over? It's literally one stone door. I just pick it out. This is a, like a solid, but this is a blazed base. This is a literally a pre-built blazed base. Sulfur quarry is right there too. Oh, that's not a bad idea. We'll look further into that for sure when it turns day. All right, let's take a look at high qual quarry. High qual quarry looks more taken over than sulfur quarry i do have to say sulfur quarry is a little bit more secluded and uh it's also at least i could build there here i'd have to break like four tcs maybe not four but it'd just be more of a hassle then i've got my pre-built base on the island i think sulfur quarry is meant to be so we'll run with that let's go uh, get a base built over there so our goal is to get a jackhammer and we need to pick out that doorway somehow. And this might just be the key to what we need, I think. This, oh, it's fresh too. I just saw this, it was, I was just boating back to the island at night and yeah, let's see if we can, uh, there we go. I hope I can get out somehow and I hope it's loaded too. The stone's not decaying, that's a good sign. It means it's loaded. Oh, that means it's loaded. Oh, no. Dude, it's been so long since I found, like, a good decaying base. Oh, man, I'm stoked. Nice. Loaded. This is a good sign. I think this is probably TC, if I had to guess. So I feel like blowing into TC would actually be a good idea on this base. And it might even have even more loot. But we got to get to the second story somehow. Because this is the entrance in... So, I mean, really, it's a 50-50 chance that TC is over there, but no one does that. It's it's always... I could actually tell... Well, I couldn't tell you if it's a TC. Is it? Yeah. That is TC. Oh, on the other side, not this side. So, definitely, we should uh, blow this. Or blow, blow the other door, not this. Ooh, well, there's... Oh, there's our jackhammers. Three completely fresh jackhammers in a tier two. Plus all this charcoal, which we're going to need for sure. That's always the problem when you have a lot of sulfur is you never have charcoal. So I, I got to be really conscious this way of saving charcoal. All right. I said we blow into TC. Risk it for the biscuit, you know? I'm going to kind of ruin my AK durability, but it's fine. Raiding before having a base. Interesting. There it is. Oh my god. Wow, that guy, dude, that guy scared the shit out of me. All right, please be loaded. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh. Okay. Oh, dude. Okay. All right, we need to seal this. Oh my god, dude. What a come up. Now the question is, do we risk it and blow further in? I think we do it because this is this is like the best sign ever. This is loaded, bro. Look at all this sulfur this guy has. Oh my god. I still have two stacks of expo ammo and 23. And if worse comes to worse, I could research one and, and there's I could craft more with what I have in here. I'm gonna just use his body as a uh as a box here. That's insane. What a find. Wow. No AKs though. One HLMG. Two HLMGs. No AKs. Alright. Well, let's uh let's keep blowing in, I suppose. Another L9 though. A lot of low grade. I'm assuming it's going to be two garage doors. So it's going to go garage door and then a garage door to the left. We actually could pick in. If we want to... You know what? I'm down to just pick into it. Rather than blowing in, I feel like that'd be a more wise decision, I think. Because we have like 10 jackhammers. And then I could save this and do another raid if I have to. You know what I mean? I know that's not really the blaze thing to do. The blaze thing to do is to uh, just waste loot, but... Let's let's be smart about this for once. This is like a once in a lifetime come up. I never get come ups like this, man. All right, let's see what we got other TC. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty good. Jackhammers, wonderful. Pretty quiet out in the desert, which I like. I'm kind of feeling the uh the passive rust run today. I like this. Chill rust has always been my favorite. I mean, I'm sure you guys have put two and two together, but it is time to get pickaxing. I'm kind of worried. I just hope this guy doesn't wake up. I hope Grant doesn't. I should probably just kill him, but I kind of need the extra storage space. All right. We're almost in. I hope this is loaded. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Okay. More jackhammers. Oh, no. It's one of these loot rooms. All right. We picked into the toolbox. Um, okay, well, I mean, I, all right, you know what, I, you know, we just got, like, a lot more jackhammers, and, uh, we're not gonna be using them to farm sulfur, so we might as well pick into the bottom one, I guess. Now, we go to the bottom, look, oh my, dude, look at this guy's inventory, bro, he's loaded. That's actually so hype, man, good stuff. All right, guess it's time for us to get started. All right, hopefully it's loaded, I'm praying, hopefully it was worth it. This base was worth it as a whole, though. All right. Loot reveal. The building plan box. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Should I blow into this? Uh, you know, I'm going to blow into this other side really quickly. I'm going to blow into this. Just I don't know. You never know. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it for the boys. All right. Well, you know what? Ended up being worth it. Beautiful stuff. This was good. This was actually insane. I mean, what a good find. We're like two hours into the server about. Guys, I needed this, okay? We needed this. This is uh, an astonishingly awesome find, though. It's been a long time since I found, like, a loaded decayed base, and uh, this definitely meets or fits the criteria or whatever the saying is so beautiful stuff also we got a large furnace uh which is gonna be good for our industrial endeavors you feel me let's just break all these bags and seal this in so i could finally kill the sleepers i guess we'll finally get started with our wipe uh our wipe has not really started yet i still don't technically have a base on this server this is the closest thing i have to a base so it's time to get started, finally. Bruh, I didn't even check the fridge. What is with that cacti? Wonderful. Whew, okay, I say we start by recycling all these components that I just got at the uh, local recycler. That's gonna be a while, a long while. And then we will go and I will go pick out another wall and uh, take over that base that's on that island. 
that's what I'll do. I'd say that cloth is usually like the hardest thing to get in the desert. So all these sewing kits, there's like a billion in that base that I didn't even loot yet. All the sewing kits are actually a really great find because we're going to need cloth. But this is gonna be like a bajillion scrap. So I'm gonna be able to research uh, wall BP, which I really need. And then I'll probably be able to get turret from this as well. And then like, we'll be good to just start taking over sulfur quarry, man. I'm stoked. It's been like four or five months since I've taken over a sulfur quarry. So I'm super hyped to do it again. All right, we are gonna be here for a while. So it is time to hunker down. There is definitely some loaded bases out here, I think. And they're very cheap raids. Like that's like a four rocket raid and it's gotta be loaded. That loaded, we know it's loaded. Yeah, definitely like this will be loaded. There's some good prospects out here. Keep all these in mind for when we get some boom. Oh my God. All right, we finished the recycling. It's long enough to literally turn us into nighttime, but 2,200 scrap, 2,400 cloth, which there's a lot more where that came from. Let's start taking over this island base. I've noticed, by the way, these guys who had the 60 rockets in that smallish looking base over here turned off their shop, which I find awfully interesting. Uh, we're gonna have to do some investigating at some point. That's gonna be a very difficult solo raid, though. I can't promise anything on that front, but I definitely want to do some raids tonight, uh, with the Sulfur Quarry. I'll probably try and take Giant Excavator a little bit. Emphasis on the word try. I don't know how well that will really go. Let's take over some jackhammers and base building supplies and go pick out that door frame and take over that base for ourselves. Our next steps. All righty. Boom. Looks like I have a base now. It's an all festive base. I like it. Let's uh, let's upgrade this before, before something bad happens. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, Heli just came out. Heli spawned in the top right. I might be able to take it. If I could take Heli, That'd be pretty solid, I've got to say. Alrighty. This is our base. Pretty upgraded, actually. I've got to say, it's like, you know, pretty strong. And uh, Sulfur Quarry is right over there. So, it's not far away. Is that a pyramid that's decaying? Dude. That's why I like building in secluded places. You just find that, like, wackiest stuff. Oh, dude, it's perfect. It's not... I don't have to swim across every time. I could just run. I love that. I should play a wipe out of a pyramid sometime. But it looks like somebody got here before me. Fucking off lining. <laughs> Poor guy. But we got charcoal. We need that. There's definitely some uh, offline raiders raiding going on here in this area. So I'd be I'd be curious to see who, who could be behind this tomfoolery. I've decided I'm taking the executive decision. I cannot be bothered boating back and forth every time. So I'm going to go buy a mini and that'll allow us to get around the map quicker. Cause like I said, we built in like an extremely secluded spot. So being able to get around the map as fast as possible is really nice actually. All right. Now we upgrade our wipe once again, boys, this is hype. Good stuff. Get that mini. Wonderful. All right, let's start transferring the loot, moving, and then taking over the quarry, getting it running, and getting some boom. I, I do have to get an explosive somehow. I have rocket researched, but not explosive. So I think I could take Bradley and recycle like an HV rocket or something, or a uh, uh, incense rocket rather, or maybe like recycle a C4 if it really came down to it. All right. Now for the long task, transferring the loot to the new home. And this is uh, no small amount of loot to transfer, that's for sure. I ain't complaining though. Having to transfer all this loot is definitely a great problem to have. A great problem to have. Boom. Tier three, looking good. Yeah, buddy. Oh my God, are you kidding me? 
the fuck? What are their nakeds doing out here? Dude, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh-oh. Oh my god, do I have neighbors? Ah, jeez. There's no- I have neighbors on this, like, island in the middle of nothingness? What is this? Okay. I don't think I have neighbors. I think they just found me. Which is, uh, actually a big shame. <laughs> That's kind of bad. What if they're the guys that raided that 2x2? Two two? That would be very unideal, to say the least. I'm a little bit worried. I, I mean, someone coming out like that out here like what are you doing out here you know when i say we're in the middle of nowhere we are like in the middle of nowhere out here let's just hope we don't get raided and, and you know what i think uh also while we're at it i have those boxes that were at sulfur quarry that i just never looted i'm gonna assume they've been looted and that they're gone but maybe not I thought I hit him pretty good. It was nighttime, though. Here they are. Looted? Not looted. Okay, let's just take all this stuff back then first. Eight diesel is, is kind of a... Kind of a big, big, big come up. Honestly. Eight diesel is hype. I'm not... I tell you in a minute. This, uh, I used to live here back in the 1930s. This is my this house. This is our old house. Oh, really? Oh, I just took it over. Do you like my design? I do, yeah. Do you know who raided it? I just took it over. My bad. Um, yeah, they used 37 rockets and got absolutely nothing. Well, I suppose that's good. Do you mind if I live in it? Can can I repurpose the house? I would love you to live in it. All right. Well, I'm glad. Uh, you might want to see the honeycomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will. If you don't mind me ask, who, who raided you? Or do you know, or? I don't really know where they live. I see. Are you guys in the desert too, or? Uh, no, we, we live far. Oh, okay. Far away. I got a bad feeling about these <laughs> folks. <laughs> I like man. <laughs> that creeps me out, bro. All right, thanks, you too. That guy is sussing me out, dude. Are you Blaze? No. Thank you. I got a sussed out feeling about those folks. I think they're going to come raid me or something. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I got a feeling I'm about to get raided and I think they live close because they're saying like we live far away. Oh, dude, they already found where I was going to transfer loot. I have a feeling we're going to get a fat offline raid here. Oopsies. That is actually really tragic. That is, as a matter of fact, so tragic, it's upsetting. It is such a long walk to bandit camp. Oh my god, man. Uh, uh, I guess uh, we'll go make the walk again. That is upsetting, man. No. How much scrap are we going to need? Because I need to get a turret BP. Oh, it's on tier two? Oh, Lord. I thought it was tier three. Oh, Lord. That's debilitating, truthfully. All right. It's uh, been a little while, but I've finally transferred most of the loot, if not pretty much all of it. And now, I think it's time for us to fly around the area and just take a look at, uh, you know, what we got around us. And then get working on that sulfur quarry, though, for sure. So, for that, I need high wall and I need turrets, I guess. We'll also collect some diesel while we're out. We'll go on a little roam, see if we hear a raid or something. Do these guys not have turrets? What? That is so disappointing. I, I didn't see it till it was too late. Wow. That's probably how they got the other mini too. Oh, uh, I could try and uh, head over there and blow them up with a launcher. I might do that. That is, that hurts. I'm spending all my scrap on helis 
This is this is difficult. Let's go buy another mini and then make some rocket HV rockets and start blowing up things that I'm so dumb for that. I'm I can't believe that. Disappointing. Some funny fella farming over here. I will be having none of that. All right. Guys, I need everything. I need everything I could get after crashing my 100th mini. <sighs> All right, off to go buy this stupid helicopter again. Alrighty. This year in Bandit Camp to buy my first mini of the wipe. Super excited that I'll be able to uh, finally fly a heli for the first time in the wipe. I got to go scout out their base and uh, see... I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Honestly, it would be a really good raid. If I could just cook up all my sulfur and turn it into GP and make like expo ammo, I think this would be an extremely profitable raid. Uh, the question is, can I raid it solo, top down? That is an expensive raid, but I think I could do it. I think I have enough sulfur to do it uh, right now. I just need to, you know, cook it, I suppose which uh, could be done pretty easily. I could just make a bunch of large furnaces or something. But I need to see if I could even get on the roof in the first place. That was a flub, dude. I'm really, uh, I'm hoping they're not online. <laughs> they're online. And they, he's literally wearing my kit. That is so sad. That is just so sad. All right, well, we will uh, we'll write that one off as a loss. Very depressing loss. Uh, that's gotta be the dumbest way I've ever lost an AK full kit, I think. So we're just gonna remember that feeling and we will not do it again. But uh, we gotta lock in here. We, we actually gotta lock in now. No more flubbing, flumbering, or trolling. We gotta lock in and uh, begin this process. Yeah, is that cool? I took it over. Yeah, who'd you uh, take it from? I don't know. I, I think uh, these fellows, uh, it was raided though. So I rebuilt it. Very suspicious of this group of this guy just scouting the base. I'm very suspicious of this. Uh, I think we had high walls. Turret is probably going to be the biggest pain. Honestly, I don't even know where you get a turret. I guess you have to get it dropped from like a green crate, I think if I'm not mistaken, and the odds of that are abysmal. So I'm not even going to depend on that. I think I'm just going to tech tree to it, uh, which is pain. But there was like high walls in here. I'm just hoping I didn't just die with them. I think I died with them. I did. Uh, I did die with them after checking my recording. At a very cursory glance, I did land on the roof with them. How long? How much would it cost me to tech tree to a uh, wood high walls tier one? I forgot about that. Okay, well at least that'll be cheap, or cheaper. I don't know about cheap. What about uh, auto turret though? While we're here, 800 scrap for the turret, and we're gonna need 465 scrap for the wooden wall. Which I wouldn't need that if I wasn't an idiot, but I'm, it's fine. I can't take my anger out on myself. I'm not going to do that. We're okay. We'll just, uh, we just got to farm. Got a stone high wall BP from a blue scientist. Wondering if maybe things are meant to be after all. I could just research stone wall and do that instead of, uh, do stone wall instead of wood wall. I don't think that would hurt. And it's probably easier to get stone in the desert anyways, rather than wood. But it is time for me to get back to component farming. I will let you know if anything arises. I have killed all the scientists, hoping for fat loot. Maybe even the fattest loot. Large furnace. Yeah, we'll take that. Two GLs. Okay. All right. Not too bad. Let's see what the crate has, but we're just here for scrap mainly. All right, twelve so goods. Hopefully we get some uh, some good stuff. Cause we need a lot of scrap, so we get a lot of get a lot of stuff for comps. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Okay, not bad. Decent crate too. We'll take it. We'll take it. 
All right, let's head back to base with our ill-gotten gains and uh, go recycle and see where we're at. All right, need it back home. Beautiful. What, what kind of components do we have in here that we could recycle? I need to save the cameras. We don't have a whole lot of uh, recyclable components. Let's just recycle what we can and see if we could tech tree to what we can. Head out from there. Got four more diesel from that, which is uh, pretty goaded, I must say. Puts us at 12 diesel now, which is, I think, like 6k sulfur already for doing nothing. Pressing E twice. <laughs> so, pretty good stuff. Alright, just about a thousand scrap, which pretty much puts us where we want to be. Okay, uh, I had the genius idea of instead of getting scrap, like I told myself I would, I'm gonna go take Bradley instead. So, that is precisely what we're gonna do right now. I just need to get uh, my L9 and some ammo, and we'll go head over there and do some Bradley taking. Hype! Hype alert! Bra Bradley actually will help us because we'll, we'll get components from it. We'll get some raid supplies. It's turning nighttime, so I'll bring some night vision goggles with me. Actually, I don't think I have night vision goggles, so I'm just I'm gonna wing it and pray that we uh, win this for the boys and uh, get a lot of components from this as well. Good thing I brought extras. <laughs> It is nighttime. It's kind of a shame. Hopefully, I don't get grubbed. There we go. Beautiful. Hope I survive this. That would be ideal. An ideal outcome. Uh, it's late at night right now because I woke up so late. So I've got a good feeling about things. First crate, garbage. Second crate half garbage third crate please make up for it if we get an m2 we could probably take heli i'm gonna be honest that was like the worst bradley take ever that was the least profitable bradley take i've ever had that was all trash was, i got all components all right well, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Try again on the next one, I suppose. But that was, that was horrible. I didn't know a Bradley could be that bad. With that being said though, Heli might be getting taken over here. And if that's the case, I'm gonna counter it because maybe it was a blessing that it was just this bad. It is getting taken. All right, this is, this could actually be really good depending on who's taking it. I think this guy's kind of flubbing it. Although it's not really any surprise when you have a one by one raid or heli tower. <laughs> Bro, it's not even smoking yet. Oh, he died. His body's hanging on the edge too. Wait, we might just have a uh, free come up here. Oh, his body definitely just fell. I think they uh, failed heli. Oh, well, now they're taking it from their compound. Okay. I'm very impressed that this guy is taking heli out of this one by one. I, I re really respect the dedication. Oh my god. Is this not coming out? Does that mean I should just go for the heli? I think it does. Okay, I think we're good. These guys are ultra bonehead so i think we have a chance at this actually and the good thing is with the l9 i'm able to hold these guys back so i think we have a pretty solid shot here actually although these bushes will make things harder than they need to be i think we'll still be okay first crate m249 second crate 55 ammo there's another crate a singular chest plate the last crate is in the tree. More 5.5 five ammo. We'll take it. I'm gonna just get out of here, though. No C4 rockets. 
Disappointing. A lot of 5.56 five, ammo. That we like to see. Ah, wow. Bad Bradley. Pretty bad heli. Hopefully the next ones are a little bit better, I guess. But we'll take it. We, we got it for free. So... Uh... Well, that's not good, I guess. What the heck is some random M2 guy doing out here? I don't know if taking this fight is smart. I mean, it's really not, but... Got him. Oh, okay. Whew. We need to loot and scoot. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. That is two M2s that we've gotten. I'm super sussed out what they're doing around here though. I wonder if they live nearby. Maybe they're just roaming. It could be the guys that just took heli looking for me, which is what I worry about. Either way, let me get back to base and deposit my newfound loot. That was a clutch headshot on the first guy, super clutch. I'm coming back with a box of 5.56 ammo. They almost killed me too. He ended me at like seven health with the M2. Like I should have been pretty much dead. So that's super, super, super lucky. God, I, dude, I didn't even have a lock on my second door, bruh. Oh God, I'm a mess, dude. How, how, how I even get loot in this game in the first place is beyond me. I'm gonna keep it uh, real with you guys. I think it's time for us to focus on our goal and wall in the sulfur quarry. So uh, that is what I'm gonna do right now we have a great chance here i know we could do it we have enough scrap so i think we're good to go so really i just need wood high wall bp and turret definitely doable i'm gonna start with the turret bp let's put this out here because i don't have room uh so let's just start with the turret bp battery all right tech tree down here this is painful but it has to be done do we want drone or the camera i think i want the drone all right, sweet. And we still have 700 scrap, which I'm pretty sure leaves enough for the wood high wall. So, and a tier one, because I have to craft a tier one because I don't have a tier one in here. So we'll see. Let's see right now. Oh, good. We get barricade BP doing this. Boom. We have just enough with 200 scrap left over. Very nice. Oh, killer. All right, I just got Metal Barricade 2 for free. Have all the BPs we need. Every single one. So I'm going to take the heli. I'm going to go farm some stone and trade it for wooded outpost. Get crafting on some wood walls and get this thing running. Because we have quite a bit of diesel, I think. We have 12 diesel. We'll get it running and uh, get it started and get a raid going, I suppose. All right, let's just fly around and get some stone. I'm not farming. I hear these AKs. I think I'm going to investigate instead of being smart. Oh, come on, listen. It's a big fight. Huge fight. Maybe even a raid. I don't know. I'm going to risk it. I think they might be raiding. This sounds like a raid to me. So, you know, it's something I want to be a part of. You feel me? Yeah, they're definitely shooting something out in there for some reason. I a rocket launcher on him. I need to go get my mini and fly on the roof. That's what I need to do. I gotta be somewhat quick with this. Alright, moment of truth. It's time to risk it all. Praying it works out here. I think it will. I think we'll be okay. What the? <laughs> what a landing on the mini, though. What's going on? I'm I'm lost. Uh oh. They're not a ladder. Uh oh. My heli might be. I think my heli's stuck up there. 
Right, I just have to go in. What? So it seems like they were raiding this, I guess. Okay, this is like a rust escape room. This is a brutal situation to be in. I guess I could just try and pick out. That's our escape plan. Yeah, we could pick out. Guess we'll just do that. It's like the seventh metal wall I've picked today. I still got to figure out how to get my mini though. Ugh. Okay. Uh, uh, I gotta get up there, man. This is the worst part about playing solo. I might have to go like farm rope. I have a bad feeling that's what I'm about to be forced to do. I need to get three rope and I can make a ladder. Jesus, it's been like a headache. Uh, all right. All right, two ladders coming on up. Wonderful. So there is a raid going on. I saw the guys fly back to military base, which really makes me wonder who's raiding what. So I'm going to go find out. Finally. So I'm going to start by checking the military base and seeing where this thing is pointed and fly in that direction. All right. It is pointed about near launch. Something got MLRS with 12 MLRS, I think. I'm just wondering where it was. Oh. There it is. That was the raid. I wasn't sure if it was. I didn't say anything. All right. It is game time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm ready. We got to be quick, though. I think I'm just going to wait until I start hearing rockets get shot. Because I don't really have a lot of interest in not getting rockets. So I'll wait till I start hearing some booms. Bro, what am I roaming with, dog? Two million stacks of ammo. It's a pretty solid hiding, hiding spot. Oh, we got a big cheeser. He did not see me, that's for certain. He is landing back to me. I don't see any rockets or rocket launchers yet. I think he's going to get the rockets right now. Just ratting around this raid like it's no one's business right now. Is that a real rocket? I think it is. I think it's our time to shine. Bro, they're... He said he doesn't have any HVs, which means he just has real rockets on him. That's why I shot. Got him. Oh no. To a turret? I'm just gonna run back naked. Oh no, 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 not like this. I killed all of them. I didn't, I didn't, I'm so stupid. I didn't see the turret pod over there. It's cool, it's cool. We're good. Keep it cool, calm, collected, we're good. We're going to get a bunch of rockets, a bunch of rockets. We're going to just leave the M249 and dip. That's what's going to happen. I'm speaking it into existence right now. Okay, we got six rockets. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I uh, care about that M2 anymore. At the very least, I need to try and stash this stuff. And, uh, I will come back. What is that? Like a line of rockets? Almost. Yeah, screw the M2. I might get shit for it, but screw the M2. I'd rather have the line of rockets than the M249, to be honest. And these AKs are, are great. Not a huge M2 fan. I don't really like it. If the base owner's on, which I heard the garage door open, I'm gonna ask and see if he'd be willing to turn off the turrets to let me get my M2 back, but 
I doubt it. And you know what? For that, I can't really blame him. I mean, I wouldn't turn him off either. But I'll just tell him, hey, look. I defended your base. I got the rockets. I'll even protect you while you rebuild if you just let me have my M2 back. How's that sound? I don't know. I, I heard a garage door opening in there. I assume he's on. And then, they like, the M39 was shooting at someone, but I don't think he's coming out. Oh, he just got my kit. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I could ask him for it back or something. Never mind. Yo, are you the base owner? I am. Yo, I, I just uh, defended your base. I killed the raiders. Take everything, it's yours. Oh, perfect, yeah. Well, I was just gonna ask for the M2, but I think I might have just killed you for it. I, I got all this stuff, so just seal your base, all right? No, no, I don't need it. I just despawned everything. I'm leaving the server. Oh, shit. You got any uh, extra Take diesel? Uh, yeah, actually. Look at that. Perfect. Based raid defender. That's awesome. <laughs> Come here. Oh, thank you, man. Oh, hell yeah. Car base. Oh, my God, brother. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Oh, thanks, bro. Appreciate it, man. Damn. That's very kind of you. Oh, turrets. Wait, I need those. You need to bring me more stuff? You can bring me uh, to your home and I'll just depot and then die there. Yeah, fuck um, it. Yeah. Enough. Uh, here. I'll, uh, pick here, come, come in your mini with me and I'll take you to my secret, uh, counter raid base. I'll show you what I, uh, what, what I, what I got here. Oopsies. That's my bad. No, you're good. There's a mini here. Dude. Yeah, that was, that was the raiders. There's a, oh. Got him. Yeah, I think there was like three of them. All right, I'll show you, uh, what I built. I built a counter raid base. Wait, wait, wait. Drive me to this, uh, this mini. I'll bring it to you. Okay, perfect. I live really far away. I live in the desert. Like, super far away. You have low grade? Here. 200 low grade. Yeah. Here, come with me. Come with me. All right, I'm going to make this poor guy fly, fly me back all the way to his base. I'll just have him take the rockets. He sounds like a cool guy. Sounds like a diesel mechanic. Oh, hey. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so this is my counter raid base. I built, uh, this is all the stuff they brought, if you're curious. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is fucking scuffed, so I guess just take the rockets and the AKs if you can, and, uh, we can fly. My base is, uh, in the, uh, I, is that I? Yeah, I too, in, on the island, like, far. So if you're cool with that, you don't have to if you're hopping off or something. No, I don't care, I'll help you. Oh, thank you, man. I'm trusting this guy with, like, I'm trusting him with about half the rockets, so it's like, he could fly off and it wouldn't be that bad. But if he killed me, it'd be pretty bad. Yeah, they were talking in game and they were like, did you bring any HVs? And that was like, I was like, okay, I should shoot them, because that means they just have real rockets on them, you know? And I guess, yeah, it turned out to be true. Yeah, they took so much from me. If you want a, a big raid, it's going to be AC-18, that's where they live. Yeah, oh, I saw that. Ba yeah, yeah, yeah. They have like a hundred rockets in their base. I, their shop was like showing them off yeah. or whatever. Yeah. All right. So I'm just at I2. All right. Meet you there. All right. Let's hope this guy is a man of his word. He is flying in the direction. So I think we're good. Beautiful. That's an insane haul. That Like we needed that really badly. That was, that was super, super useful. Wow. So that's almost like two lines of rockets, nearly like one and a half lines for free. And he is following me, so he's not taking off. You feel me? That's so sick. Ah, oh, man. This is why I love Rust, man. I love Rust for these, like, genuine, cool interactions, bro. Super cool, man. Super cool. I love it. Bunch of tier 3 guns, rockets, turns, metal armor. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to my abode. Let's go. Feel free to come on in. Check it out. Little base tour. Just started today. Found a decaying Ooh, juicer. Yeah, it's very nice. This, this base was like, uh, you just throw it anywhere. This base was uh, raided and I just took it over. So it's a good find, I guess. Trying to take over a sulfur quarry, but I'm really slow. So it's been like 10 hours and I haven't done it. Uh, I just, yeah, I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's the perfect time. Uh, like the guys that raided me used to be to live in this area. So now oh, they're gone. Shit. They live pretty far, so you're good. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I was uh, I was worried about getting. I'm still a little worried. I'm probably gonna get raided, but eh, fuck it. It, it is rust, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, hell yeah, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for the help, bro. I appreciate it, and, and thanks for uh, you know, giving me the loot. That's very epic of you.
Thank you. You're welcome. And there's still a mini out there. Don't forget it. Yeah, I'm going to F1 kill and uh, come right back or fly back or whatever. I'm tired. All right. Thank you, man. Goodbye, man. Take care. All right. Cool. What a come up. See if they're like raiding again. Round two raid. What did we leave in this box? Did we leave any low grade? Yeah. I don't want this ammo. I kind of want all this stuff, actually. All right, I just have to craft some low grade and I'll fly back again. Oh, 500 low grade in there. Just literally sitting around crafting low grade. <laughs> ah, good one, Blazed. It's the hardest part about the uh, quarry takeovers. I've, I've tried a couple in the past. I had one moderately successful one. It's always at the very end of your wipe is when I take over Sulfur Quarry. At the very end, like by the time I have turrets set up and electricidants and walls, I've already won the game. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, it's hard to continue the wipe once you have all that loot. Otherwise, you know, what's the point of getting more loot when you already have all the loot in a world? That's some sort of uh, quote about money in there, I guess. But, you know, it's kind of hard to continue. But I'm going to push on and continue the wipe out. I'm going to do something really quite stupid. The hell is this guy doing? I thought he was full kit. And so I was like, I don't know. I'm probably going to die to him. This guy's just raw dogging it with seven pythons. That's awesome, man. I thought he was full kit, but I'm paranoid about being followed back to base is also rather die with what I have on me than let this guy know where I live. But I suppose we've succeeded anyways. What is he doing with an empty HLMG and three pythons? My man. Damn, dude. I'm like one of those hood houses that's got like three scat packs in the like front lawn because like their driveway is already full. I'm like one of those. That's awesome how i feel right now for real shitty ass house 2000 scrap and helis amazing you love to see it guy's the goat dude super cool of that guy man i have some organizing to do though so i'll check back in once the base is tidy because i've been trying to keep the organization good lately i don't think anyone notices it but i'm trying to keep it good and, and organized and stuff all right so i got a loot tally I spent the night organizing. These are our tier 2 guns, all of which we got from that decaying base. These are our tier 3 guns, only one of which we got from the decaying base. The rest have been PvP and or uh, that guy, that nice gentleman. Ammo box looking just beautiful. Turret box looking great. You got clothes, resources, charcoal, because we need that. Our toolbox. Components box kind of looking beautiful tier three stuff and then the box we've all been waiting for Boom, it's not as many rockets as I initially thought but it's still a very solid chunk Especially given that I didn't even need to farm them. You'll love to see it So with that being said we have a couple options, but we need to get back to the task on hand Okay we need to take over the silver quarry. Uh, also, yeah, Hellcat spread right here. Beautiful. Oh my God. You love to see this, man. This is the greatest. That is three extra mini copters that I could crash. This is awesome. Anyways, uh, I need to go farm some stone, go to outpost, convert it to wood like we had tried previously and failed, but we can't fail this time. So that is what we're going to do. And uh, we'll then craft the walls. Get some TCs down and uh, put some turrets on that. And we'll be all set and ready to roll. All right, I'll be right back. Better not try and make a DB play on me again. I want to try. <laughs> get it, I'm kidding. Thank I'm you. I'm not going to fail now. <laughs> all right, boys. So we found, uh, found and met a fellow blazer in the wild. I wasn't recording. He's very chill, very nice guy. He's just hanging out at the base. But it is time to take over the quarry. Let's go. So I wanted to start by seeing if I could put a gate here, but it just doesn't seem very doable. I guess we could use the gate as like one of the uh, things right here. All right. Looks like probably four TCs will be enough, I think. 
And basically, we just got to get some walls there. Like, four walls to here. And, uh, like, two turrets. And we have it taken over, pretty much. The beautiful thing. You love to see it. I've been saying that a lot lately. Pretty simple takeover, though. At least it's not complicated. And if I really wanted to, I could blow into the, uh... I could blow into the external TCs over there. But, you know what? I think those rockets are better spent on a raid. So, that is what I'm gonna use them on. That's my anti door camp guy over there. Gave him a hazmat suit and a python. He's a fellow blazer. Dope guy. Super chill. Okay. Then we need some walls. Probably like four will do. I'll do just six. Why not just do six? Six is more than enough. I, we're, we're covered for sure. So wonderful stuff. I'll off the blazer on the, uh, on the sulfur quarry so that he could use it. He's super chill. He's very nice. All right. Just plop that there. Only issue is this sulfur quarry unfortunately has a road, so we can't fully enclose it, but we can enclose it most of the way, which, you know what, is good enough for me. Oh, shoot. We might not have enough walls yet. Might have to get some more stone. We might actually be able to enclose this all the way. Maybe. You can. Oh, interesting. Because... The road generated a little bit funny. It allows us to build back here. So actually, we can close this in all the way, which is insane. That's that's good. That this is like the What? Am I hallucinating right now? Yo, what the fuck? Hello? What the, what the fuck just happened here? Oh shit. Hi man. Yo, I'm just naked. That guy was definitely in on it, but what the fuck? It didn't even damage anything. Thank God, because I wouldn't have been able to replace it. I would have had to blow the TC, but what the fuck? There had to be, like, whoever these nakeds are hanging around my base. It, they had to be with them, but what the hell, dude? Why would you even waste that? Why did they shoot it at my base? Maybe he hit the wrong marker or something. I might be about to get raided. I don't know. You guys are like confused. I like my heli's still alive. This is an official vanilla server face punch. So like the admins can't do that sort of stuff. They literally, they literally like can't. I don't know. I don't know what the hell just happened, but I'm just as confused as you guys are. I have just a sinking feeling that he meant to shoot the base, but he didn't. I really think I might be about to get raided, potentially. So it's good that I'm not in base, but I've never seen that in my life. So we're probably going to need one, two, three more TCs. So I'll just craft another. Unfortunately, that means we got to go hit like more stone. I have no idea how long the upkeep is on those TCs. Well, I'm going to just chill out near base, I think. Is it someone that, like, doesn't want me to take over Sulphur Quarry, maybe? That's my only other, like, thought, is, like, they don't want me to take the Sulphur Quarry. Then why would they just take it for themselves? It's, like, free. Keep my sound up in case I start hearing rockets go off at my base. Nearly finished. How many walls would I say I need? One, two, three. I'll just make three stone walls, I think, for now. We'll be good. Bruh. Okay, get this. I'm... Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Will it end here? Damn it. Oh. He has an M2. I think I'm definitely about to get raided. Hey, don't kill him. Hey, buddy. What up? Remember we griefed that clan base? Yeah, you got shat on? Yeah. Guess what's gonna happen again? You're gonna get shat on again. By who? By me. Fuck out of here. <laughs> who the fuck is that guy? That is so cringe. 
dude, that is hilarious. Were my words not clear enough? I said fuck out of what here. What are you gonna do? Raid me? You gonna raid me? That means... You gonna raid me or no? That means fuck out of here. You gonna raid me or no? That means fuck out of here. You gonna raid me or no? That means fuck out of here. Are you gonna raid me? That means fuck out of here. Oh, oh, he's stealing our raid. Ah, fuck out of here. Oh, he's in it, guys. Wait, I stole your raid? Go back to your video. Go back to your video. I griefed the clan base. My brother, see, brother, same brother. Name, save everything. Same brother, fucking server. Let me you got speak. Shat on. I don't, brother, 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 I don't your care. Brother, buddy. <laughs> My God, this guy is so upset. <laughs> oh, this is awesome, bro. Dude, how does Blaze upset someone this bad? Holy shit. Oh my dude, imagine fucking getting this upset over Rust. Yes, they do. They do live on that iceberg thing. I think it was the guys I stole the, the raid from. Bro, what was that? I don't know. They're they're like unnecessarily upset, but I think they're about to come raid me. So I gotta make some meds. Yeah, I don't it's like some neck beard. Yeah, that was bizarre. Happens, I'm gonna pa I'm gonna type uh, let's see launch yeah. site. Okay. okay, I like that. Yeah, code word launch site. You're gonna see what happens now, buddy. I fucked up their base and they really took it personally. These guys wonder why I like griefing clan bases. Well that's why. Hey you got fucking owned pussy. Damn. Good shit, brother. Here, take a kit. Nice. They got owned. Oh, hey, look. One of them's right here. Damn. Sucks to suck. Good shit. You, you, are you in a team? Are you team leader? Uh, no, my teammate is somewhere over there. If, far away across the map. if he wants to come and invite me to the team, um, hold on. It's a naked right here. Dude, they just have fucking bags everywhere. Look at them. Like, they're like, they're too stupid. They're just two stupid idiots. Hello, I see you guys crouching up. Jesus. Oh, there's three of you. Got owned. Even with the night vision on, too. Thanks for another mini, I guess. Nah, but if your teammate comes and wants to invite me to team, I'll, uh, I'll give you base codes, uh, just in case. Alright. I'm gonna fly around real quick. I'm gonna depot this kit and fly around. You want this one as well? No, no, you stay hidden. Just stay hidden and type launch site. Oh, shit. Wait, there's an AK right here. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Oh, did you get an AK? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? You brought two AKs. Damn, GG, Blaze. Bro, talking all that shit. Jesus Christ. Dude, step your game up before you talk shit like that, bro. My lord. Bro, just pre-fired a pre-fire. No, Holy dude, man. I just play the game, bro. Bro. Build your base up and we'll give you a nice big online. Why won't you just raid me right now? Right, you don't even have a shooting floor. You don't even have a shooting floor. I don't need a fucking shooting floor, bro. It's not fun when I'm going to sit here. Three dudes were inside and rocketing inside your base, bro. And just fucking pummeling that shit. That's not fun. Yeah, you're one of those players, bro. Dude, I mean, fuck Jesus Christ. You, I am one of those players. You've been stewing on it for like eight I'm months, to bro. You, bro. I'm just going to win. Is, is that the same mindset you have when you come here in PvP too? Because, my lord, you gotta step that game up. But, uh, you've been stewing on, uh, on me for eight months. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't see why you wouldn't raid, but... Bro, it's been wrong. the longest, bro. It's been since you started on this server, fucking two years ago. Yeah, I just don't know. I, I find it... I find it insane that I could possibly occupy that much space in your brain for free. I find it, in, like, crazy. I just want you to take a step back and I realize just find that for it funny a moment. That I get free laughs when I shit on you every couple months when you get on here. Nah, nah bro, why are you calling me a neckbeard though? Come on, that's not very nice. Nah, uh, you're unequivocally absolutely a neckbeard, and I I will stand by that. Nah, bro, how old do you think I am? That's crazy. I don't know. Bro thinks, bro thinks I'm a neckbeard. Old, 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 old enough for you to fucking remember me for eight months. I just, that's crazy. I'm sorry. That's insane. Yeah, bro. Number one fan. Number one fan right here. Yeah, thanks, man. Super fan. Yeah, you tried. I did. You even tried fucking killing with the MLRS, bro, and then you moved away as soon as they, 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 fent, they went down on your little Cory. Then when I'm raiding the little fucking, the little shitters, and you just pull up with an M2, bro. Oh, that that's was right. you. That was us raiding. Yo! Yo! That's hilarious. You're three and oh. Oh, no. Oh, and I knew it was you. You 
said it wasn't you, I knew it was you. That's funny as shit. Do you think this guy's a neckbeard? He kind of sounds like a neckbeard, huh? Bro, well, I'm 16 yeah. years old. I got school tomorrow. I got to write an English exam. Yeah. I'm not a neckbeard. Bro's been hating since he came out the womb. Damn, dog. That's insane. Bro, yes, sir. Bro, I haven't seen this guy for eight months. I have no idea who he is. I'm sorry. I'm just knocking my ass off of what just happened. That's why I'm not talking. No, that was a... Uh... Yeah, that was a creature. That that was that was that guy was a creature in action we just saw. Okay, yeah, loot inspection. Let's see what you got here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, loot inspection. I, I need a rating out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Okay, I'll take it. Three walls and we're finished with the sulfur quarry takeover. At this point I don't even know why I'm taking it over. I'm taking it over because I told myself I would take it over. That's why. Get three walls cooking up. Beautiful. I'm a little bit sussed out because this guy's marker is a skull on my base. And on AC-18, it's the, the bed marker, which makes me think that he's with them. So this is kind of, in a way, rust base suicide. I find it a little worrying. Maybe he doesn't know that, like, the team leader markers also show up on, on the map. Honestly, when a lot of people start to find out that I'm on a server, I tend to just get off so if i got inside i wouldn't really care but the point is we finally completed the premise of the video we took over silver quarry wonderful look at that walled in completely too well done lovely 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 sight i'm gonna go take a look at their base see if it's griefable so these guys i guess you might have heard in this conversation are upset that I griefed him, like, literally almost a year ago. I totally forgot. I mean, I don't know. I just play the game, man. I think it'd be kind of funny if I just went over and I griefed his base again. And made him waste 40 rockets to ungrief his base. So let's just see how expensive the grief is. And we'll talk it out from there. If it's too expensive or not really worth it, I'll probably, I'd rather just raid. I think you guys would prefer to see that. But if it's, like, one or two doors or something, you already know, man. You already know. We do a little trolling. I got shot out of the heli because I wasn't evading. But I think their base is decaying and or they're getting raided. I'm pretty sure. Or they got raided. So I think we just won by default. But did they shoot you out of the mini? Yeah. I was just like flying like a bot though. That was on me. I'm pretty sure their base is like ruined. Here, I'll fly over again. Hold on, I'll double check. I don't know, the whole top of their base looked gone. I'll be honest, I think my time on the server is winding up a little bit. So the bridge is decaying. I want to get a good look at that main base, specifically the roof of it. Maybe it's not decaying. I don't think it is. So we have two options here. So option one, we grief their base. We spend half our rockets griefing their base. We risk giving these guys rockets. Or option two, we go on a raid. We have some fun. We probably get no loot. And then we get off and they offline raid us because that's what they're planning on doing. And we go about our day and they don't get any boom. I feel like that's a better option. I'd rather just do that. I'd rather just do some raids and have fun and uh, see if we could get uh, early loaded off of this or something. Rockets are still here. All right, I'm going to go AFK till the server restarts. I will resume recording if I get insided. <laughs> All right, server's restarted. Now is the time to see if the base survives. Take one of these locker kits out. As soon as early gets in... I think we'll just go raid, or it is turning nighttime, I guess. I'd be, uh, very curious to see if they raided during nighttime. Or, you know, if they raid right off a of server restart. If they don't raid us off a of server restart, I'm using all the stuff, so it's really up to them. That or we get inside it. I don't know, I got a- I have a very interesting feeling, to say the least. I'm- I'm very, uh, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. Usually I feel like I could tell pretty well like whether or not someone's gonna inside or not But this one is uh, this one's difficult. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't so we'll see I'm really not worried. Like I said if we get inside it, it's fine. I'm not gonna be you know, upset I don't really care, uh, but I hope we don't get inside it for our sake and uh, for the sake of early here 
I do not want to be stuck in base if we do start getting actually raided. So I will head outside to the heli base and sit and wait in there, I guess. All right. The servers restart. Early did not inside me. And we've decided on a plan. We are going to scout out E9. That's the base I died very early on when I landed the heli on the roof. We're going to scout out E9 and see if we could give him a raid. I can remain hopeful that maybe we could do that. But it is a pretty big base and pretty expensive too. So, you know, one can hope, but I can't make any promises. So, oh shit. Okay. Let me just take a look really quickly. Okay, so we're going to have to break about four turrets. Yeah, let's go Bradley. Why not? Screw it. All right. I mean, that looks raidable, I think. I don't know. Pretty sure. Ooh, you got me. What up? I whiffed, dude. I suck. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah, they're here. Look uh, for the two crates. Look what they got. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, this is all stuff we can use to raid. Oh, yeah. Did they have SAM sites, did you see? Uh, I didn't see any SAM sites, no. We'll take another look, but uh, yeah, if we could just MLRS that. Perfect. Let's go, uh, let's go fly back over there and uh, take another look for SAM sites and I guess we'll just raid it, because why not? Let's see if there's any SAM sites. Yeah, I don't see any. Where do you think we rock it on this thing? The question is, do we do we break the high qual or do we try and go and get TC? Here, let's get on that roof and break the roof turrets real quick. I'm pretty sure we can. Take uh, take these. I only have one HP. Here, uh, take those two. Take all these. You call this to deck and shoot that. True. See if you could hit that. Good shot. Good shot. That's why we brought extra. <laughs> I've never shot the instance. It's all right. Don't do it, please. Fuck that. be broken close close just a little bit higher oh uh, it's just land i have to heal okay if i get hit again i'm dead yeah we'll get you to the river oh, here make a bug for yourself true if you need to if you want me to uh shoot the hvs i can or uh, not the hvs the incense it's only one hp yeah you can try i'm not the best pilot but i can try to okay I'll steady for you Worst case scenario, we'll figure it out. I'm not too worried. He's on the roof! He's on the roof! Oh! <laughs> oh no. Well, that raid's off the books. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Woo! Fuck. That's alright. Damn. You want to reverse raid the guy that lives across from us? He lives in like a wooden hut. And I think we just give him all, this, uh, all these rockets. I think it's kind of be funny. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, grab like an inventory of just the best shit. I think this is a more fun option than raiding some big base anyways. I know this is a cope. From the locker. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I got the hazma. Perfect. He was online just a moment ago. We'll see if he uh, resurfaces. Oh yeah, I see him right there. Yeah, that's who we're going to raid. And we're going to just give him all the good shit. Whoa. Whoa! Hey. Hey. Hey, don't move. Guys, that's, that's my base, man. Don't move. Oh, okay, I'm standing still on my roof. I'm not moving, I'm freezing. Do you know how to upgrade a base freezing, in man. this game? Uh, I was doing the roofs. <laughs> Am I allowed to put my walls back? No, you're not allowed to put your walls back. I need you to take your loot and follow me, please. Take anything you want to keep. This yes, is, sir. You're getting kidnapped. Okay. All right. You're gonna follow me this way. You better hurry up. This is not a drill. This is not a joke. Oh, I'm running. I'm running. I'm glad this guy's a mic. My legs don't move fast enough, man. It's all right. Are you new to this game or what? How many hours you got? Uh, I got like 300. Jesus Christ. And you're building that thing? Come on, man. I wanted a farm base, man. Come on. 
Do you break. do you have a base on this server already? Like a, a regular base? Man, I got that base. That's all you have? Okay, beautiful. Well, we're gonna hook you up today, brother. This is your new base right here. And all the loot inside is yours as well. Are you serious? Absolutely. No way. Get get all those codes and come in to I'll get a loot tour real quick. What? Why do you have so many sewing kits, man? What are you trying to sew up? I'm trying to, to make clothes, man. I'm trying to make uh, merch. Dude, you got a lot of loot in here, man. Yeah, man. It's all yours. All of it. Every single bit of it. Are you sure? Absolutely. I'm being pranked. You're, this is no prank. This is all for you, my friend. Where's the hidden camera? In my forehead. See it? See it? See. Right there, yeah. Surgically implanted, like oh, Jake Paul. Oh, yep. Yo, can I swipe this card to pay you? Uh, yep. Yeah. Here. Here. Uh, you I mean, paid me three times, four times, five times. Dude, thank you so much. Would you like to leave a tip? Uh, should be enough, man. Yeah, 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 here. Where are you at? Which one is you? Ah, uh, beautiful. Thanks for the tip. Your tip. All right, well, hey, look, you have a fun wipe. Oh, uh, also, Sulfur Quarry is the same code, so you could use that as well. What? Yep. You walled in Sulfur Quarry? Damn right I did. I didn't even use it. Man. I'll, I'll use it for you, man. Don't worry. All right, Don't good worry. shit. I got you. Use these rockets, please. Before you log off, go shoot them at shit. I don't care. Just shoot them at okay. something. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go shoot them at something. I promise. All right, all right. That's all I ask. Have some fun. Have, have a great night. Thank you, you man. Too. Make sure to you change too, the codes. Man. Make sure to change the codes and 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 get all the doors and shit. Okay. All right. Good luck. Very nice fella. I hope you guys enjoyed. So I logged out, I learned that uh, the guy I was teaming with was with them all along, but he was cool about it, he wasn't lame like his teammate. Good night everybody, see you on the next one. Peace. Nah, but bro, come on, be honest here. Does Lucky Llama ESP? Oh, you're one of those guys? Jesus Christ. Bro, nah, 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 go, watch, go back and watch the video, bro is beaming me through the trees. Oh, get in line. It's crazy.